Slow flight is a very common maneuver that appears on many FAA check rides from the private pilot level through to even the instructor level. The goal is to give the pilot comfort in slower flight operations like we find in the traffic pattern and particularly on final. In this maneuver, we pull back the airspeed until we get the first indication of a stall. That's typically the stall warning. We get a little beep there. And then we complete the maneuver at just a few knots above that speed. And in fact, at, in the commercial pilot ACS, the Emmet Certification Standard, it stipulates that you need to keep airspeed at plus five, minus zero knots above the target airspeed, and plus or minus 50 feet within the target altitude. A lot of the aerodynamics that we get used to at higher speeds are turned on their head during slow flight. One of these factors is that we are operating in what's called the backside of the power curve. This means that as we slow down, drag increases as the wings work to produce sufficient lift to keep the plane flying level. The pilot then needs to increase power to overcome this increased drag. So it's a maneuver that demands a great deal of precision and real proficiency with the airplane to fly to standards. I hope you enjoy seeing it in a Diamond DA-42. So with slow flight, we're configuring the plane for just a few knots above stall speed and simulating you know, what it's like to operate it at slow speeds when we're on the backside of the power curve. So to go slower, it can actually take more power. Yeah, so in slow flight, the commercial standards are uh, basically plus or minus 50 feet. So that's the one where they want you to be very, very precise on, on altitude. Uh, whatever your specified heading is, plus or minus 10 degrees, uh, airspeed plus five minus zero, and any bank plus or minus uh, five degrees. So we are set up here, and slow flight means you basically drop everything out in terms of drag. So put the gear down. Say one, two, three. One notch of flaps. Two pitch forward there. Four thousand and last notch of flaps. Probably need a bit of extra power there. There we go. We'll basically start pulling back until we work out what the first indication is. Just for hear that little beep. And once we get there, we'll just do push the nose forward, just slightly break it and put in a little bit of extra power. And then we'll decide. Usually it's just under 70. We see that. Notice we're not getting any altitude as we're pitching up. Sixty-five. There we go. Put it down a little bit. So that was about sixty-four. So we'll go up to sixty-nine, let's say. So power to 45, and there's 69, above that, 69, so it's 69 plus or minus 5, or actually 69 plus 5 minus 0, and we want to stay on heading, and plus or minus 50 feet, get let's get trimmed, it's looking pretty good, I might just put it just a here. Scooch more power in and turn around to the right, stay away from that traffic. Do a 180 there. We're going to need a bit more power. We're losing the vertical component of lift. Bit of pitch. Coordinate it. Down altitude. Speed looks good. Altitude looks good. Run around. Stay coordinated. Make sure we keep outside as well. That looks pretty good. And there's a heading that we're aiming for. Now we can pull power back a little bit. So we've got that vertical component back. OK, 
go, and let's climb up to 4-5. It's always a good exercise. So here, back on heading. Drop down side heading there. So we're looking for 69 to 74. It's the range we want to stay in. And we want to get up to 4-5, or 4, let's, 4-4 four, is fine. So, put a bit of power in, and then get back on airspeed. See if that gives us enough climb. Yep, there we go. Southeast Texas area, Skycatcher 3029 Foxtrot, over Enum Car, headed towards Black Diamond at 2700, Southeast Texas area. Get a little bit more power in. Yes, we're definitely not breaking any speed records in the climb, but we are climbing. And airspeed looks good. Staying coordinated. About halfway there. 200 feet to go. Got a bit more power in it, let's see. Hundred feet to go. Seventy two seems like a good speed. This go and let's pull power back. And nose over. And yeah, make sure what this on airspeed. More, yep. Drop the nose a little bit. Back to six here. Pop uh, one mile north of Evergreen Sky Ranch. Simulate the engine failure. Okay, let's do a just for fun. Let's do a turn and stay at four four. So we have to put a bit more power in. Compensate for loss of vertical component. Level 3100, we're about 4 miles north of Black Diamond, and we're going to be doing power off stall. W, heading southbound. Careful, right at the edge of 50 foot. Probably put a bit too much power in there. 72, that's better, get back down. Four four, uh, four seven, correction. Cessna five three three five one, about four miles north of uh, uh, Alder, performing uh, Chantel three thousand. Four four, almost there. There we go. Okay. Great. So let's do a recovery. So first, what not your flaps? Power in and recovering airspeed. Bring the gear up. Airspeed's coming back up. Stay back at 44, back on heading. And last notch of flaps. Sky Camera Vatango over the lake, 3,500 power off stalls, northwestbound.